the same in architecture, I am a student, my master, I am a real master. This is uh, the Swiss architect uh, Fred Saller, and he's, uh, uh, you know him probably from this USM color uh, furniture system. He's quite, uh, quite famous. And he's, uh, I would say, he's the most manieristic functionalist ever. <laughs> so he, he's putting his functionalism in, in a Swiss manner, he put the functionalistic architecture, which got super popular and mainstream in the 60s, 50 years ago, and he put that, to, and he never changed, he just continued, unlike famous other colleagues, <coughs> and he put it to the very point. So in, in his architecture in principle, and you will see a lot of my sensibility is, is, of, is of this kind. So you put this systematicity of things, how to join elements and so on, to, to the very principle. So never we would say, it's simply, he was happy if things went. <laughs> it was just working. For example, life, it's simply, it's just, it, there will be no land sometimes. There will be life. Don't talk about lands. Or buildings, for example. They simply said, Buildings have to be lightweight and they have to be fast. So unlike what you for, uh, for sure will learn day and day and day with, this, with my colleague, dear colleague Andrea Laplace, stones are sight of, of intelligence. So they're going to be heavy, that you can say energy and with the position in the right way and so on. My position is just the opposite. Buildings have to be lightweight and they have to be fast. And then <laughs> they can adapt. Then if there's a surplus of energy, they can do it. And if it's too less energy, they can adapt and so on. And the overall thing is much more adaptable to uh, what we need for our interests, the environmental impacts of buildings and so on. So I think if, if, if these kind of things are a good program, in my opinion, universities work like that. And this is good with these huge universities like ETPH. You get the introduction to some 30, 36 different 
uh, opinions. And because we are, unlike small universities, we are this much, I don't have to care. <laughs> so because you, you simply get my opinion, I say that very crystal clear. And then it's up to you what you make with it. So I don't have to care with this too long. I have to care to challenge you. So it has to be precise, it has to be smart, and we have to uh, start thinking. So therefore, my first sentence is, buildings have to be fast. And they can't be fast as they're heavyweight, because they're too much stone. <laughs> it's always slow. So, these kind of things. <laughs> <coughs> so, <coughs> I made this research. <coughs> and my research was always in artificial intelligence, which is the structure of things. So I never, I was, it was the only color picture. Because the pictures are not about arguments. They are in a subsurf, uh, 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 in, uh, yeah, they are very convincing, and they simply say, don't talk. Yeah? You understand it by heart or by intuition. So there's all these people say always, if it's with the computer interface, yeah, by intuition you can do this. All the pedagogical people say, yeah? If you find the right argument, it's simple to understand. Because it's our nature to understand things. I dislike and disagree. To understand things, it's complicated. <laughs> For example, with computers, if they say it's so simple to do these things, this simply means do not try to learn it. It's in vain, computer understands you. Touch this, pay for it, and you will be happy. <laughs> and this is what I want, don't want to do. What we want to have is mathematical thinking and uh, a program. That's a strange title, a lot of this politics. <laughs> I would promote the, the thing, it's uh, digital architectonics, because I strongly believe that for about 100, 120 years now, of all the architecture of the 20th century up to now is a kind of renaissance. So we entered around 1900 and we left the old order of things. And you know it with, uh, <coughs> with uh, the quantum physics, uh, in philosophy, in uh, mathematics, there are uh, serious prices around that. You know that uh, probably in art. Uh, with, with impressionism, expressionism, cubism, and so on, there's a huge change in things. So in, with quantum physics, you say, yeah, a particle, you don't can't decide. So you, you enter the, the space of paradoxes. So you can't decide whether something is a wave or a particle. So uh, the way you ask, the answer comes. There's no truth in it. It depends on how you ask. All these things are constitutive for the 20th century. In physics is most prominent and most powerful uh, the, the quantum physics. In mathematics, the corresponding thing is category theory. Everybody hates it. <laughs> but it's an adequate way to describe the things of the 20th century. And people think, and my hypothesis is, computing is quantum thinking. Quantum writing. So it had nothing to do with mechanical thinking, with, uh, with machines and so on. Computers, as the next sentence, computers are not machines. So therefore, these crazy ideas that, for example, in my diagram, if this is working like that, and then <coughs> yeah, make this, go there, do that, so that you have a kind of operational plan how computers work. It's not adequate. It's like this. Computers are like this. You like your mobile phone. It's like the quantums. So it doesn't matter where. So just without any cable, you can call or send uh, uh, posts or, or movies and whatever, uh, you know, records, whatever, and just <coughs> the other side of the world, just by something like this. Without any cable, wherever, you even don't know have to know where your uh, receiver is. It's like this. You are out of space and time. And you can record, 
And then you can play it back, back and forth. You can make a picture out of a recording. You can whatever you like. You can print it in 3D, what you talk about, whatever you like. Anything possible. Therefore, computers are like this. <laughs> you can do anything. So you have to affirm, and this is what I want to want you to. So we will we will have two years, <laughs> and we will have uh, uh, <coughs> 90 to 100 hours of talks. Yeah? The only thing what I want to give to is this: <laughs> don't trust in stocks. Yeah, <laughs> they are heavy and you can't send them to China, but they will be negative. So learn it with the stones with here and Andrea. <laughs> because without stones it simply doesn't work, yeah. <laughs> but, the, but, the, but the driving force of our societies in politics and whatever it is, is this, and everybody is afraid. Look what Trump is telling and so on. He, yeah, yes. Yeah, he's, what, what he's doing, and I will show you how this works over these two years. <coughs> he has a few million followers, I don't know, it doesn't matter. So he's scanning and parsing what these photos like. So, yeah. And then he's spreading 100,000 or 550,000, it doesn't matter, yeah? In principle, he's sending every day to his followers a message they like. So he has 50,000 different messages. We can do that. I'll show you how this works. So everybody likes it. Because nobody realized that there's no consistency in anything. And therefore, in public, he has to talk nonsense. Because everybody says, yeah, oh, I know, here yeah, I get this private channel. I know what he really means. This is simple. So then these crazy people with the stones, <laughs> they think. <laughs> They are very smart, they just say, there is a conflict in your argument. You're telling this, or you're telling that. What is your opinion? This is not the problem. Simply not the problem. And you don't get power by arguments anymore. This is what I want to tell you. I want to give you another. This is thinking, so this category theory in mathematics. Mathematics is not about numbers and calculating and making uh, summations and so on, adding things of geometry, finding the points and so on. Mathematical, mathematics is, <coughs> if you take it, if you look at it, it's the royal path to thinking, of learning. So, the royal path of learning. <laughs> it, so, our hypothesis is we will have, yeah, we will have hundreds of these stories, yeah? <laughs> And so I, I, I throw you within in the lesson and you have to learn to swim. So we say here you have to get literate in these things. So you can't understand that. <coughs> so <coughs> um, <coughs> the royal path uh, of learning. So our, underst our understanding is that <coughs> uh, at a certain time, around plus or minus one or two generations, has a certain body of thinking. So you always get, have to get, if you want to get good architect, you have to get angry with your parents, and they got very angry with their parents, therefore you somehow get synthesized with your grandparents, so these kind of things. So by that, societies get a certain consistency within a generation plus minus something. So we call this consistency a body of thinking. So this changes every 30, 60 years. So for example, we, we had that if you had it in the 19th century, in the 18th century, you say there are different styles of, of architecture. So, so there are always generations of, of architects. And they think differently. So if it's the, the, the generation preceding, you don't like them. Because you don't want to be like them. You want to be new. And you work hard on the new body of thinking. Every generation is doing that. So don't trust what I'm telling you. Eh? <laughs> if you work hard to find arguments better than mine, or more adequate than mine, I tell you my work. Yeah? I don't tell you your work. You can't. 
Yeah? But this is a body of thinking. So the question now is how to get a body of thinking. So the, 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 the interesting thing is, for example, if you have 1720, 1750, 1780, 1820, 1850, and so on, all smart people like you. Super smart. So, and then you have the demands of the next generation who really thought that, they really disliked that. <laughs> and it's like an archaeology. You have to go down and down to understand what's going on. Because all the stories about them are always fake. You don't know what's true. Especially not because the people you are finding documents of, some buildings of the, of the old Greeks or uh, <coughs> of, of the Renaissance or from a cathedral and so on, the documents you find or the artifacts you find are <coughs> that are empty, are mystic. You can't find them, understand what they're doing. You can't understand because they're completely in another world. <laughs> they don't they, they can't tell you anymore. And they are as smart as you. So it's as complicated as things you even can imagine. There's no way to get it. Mathematics is the most explicit way to access the body of thinking of another planet. So if you, if you want to understand, for example, how a cathedral works, you can go to this cathedral and measure it and so on. The most explicit way that people express, because it's not affected with anything practical, is the mathematics of that time. This is the explicit, the, the, yeah, what they have been able to do, the same like us uh, today, to understand how they thought, the thinking itself is mathematics. Therefore, you, it's, it's the royal path of learning. If you get that, that's a, for me, it's super surprising. If you get this point with the mathematics a little, it's not about numbers. And if you read these, these mathematical books of these times, they only got complicated with the pedagogical people of the 20th century. If you read a mathematical book from 1850, from 1780, it's super simple. It's, not, it's beautiful. Read George Gould, <laughs> the original about these goals and runs and so on, everybody refers to. <laughs> it's simple. And it's beautiful, nice theory about thinking. Not about numbers and goals and runs and binary code and so on. It's about thinking. So don't hesitate just to find <laughs> the original text. Sorry. Yeah? Uh, George Gould. <laughs> okay, so what, what I want to, to encourage is so don't trust, so this is my, 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 uh, my suggestion, don't trust secondary, tertiary uh, ways of talking about these things. Trust the original masters. So if you want to learn something about Adam Smith and economy, if you want to learn George Boole, who is always is a kind of godfather, uh, original of it's 1854 or something, of, uh, of these logical laws in, in computing, get the original text. It's available. It takes 10 seconds. You have it. Read that. In bed before sleeping, do it every night. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's completely different to... Whatever you read about Google, <laughs> that's a surprising thing. And it's getting simple. If you accept that Buddha is a master, you can't understand him. Don't try to understand him. Talk with him, like a friend. Then it can be beautiful. Understanding is always, don't try to understand me. Same. <laughs> If you try to understand, it's like if you have butterflies and you're collecting it, and it's dead. You know? But you have it, love it, and blah, 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 and you make the numbers, and then you understand the butterfly, but then it's dead. It's like with a phantom, yeah? <laughs> it's kind of different. Neither wave nor particle, don't ask. 
If you ask, it's dead. Don't find a reason. <laughs> this is what. So, so I think it gets some at the time, and he said it's all right. <laughs> so we will have a lot of them. Yeah, we have time, and we have a lot of them. <coughs> uh, so, <coughs> what I think now we go a little more pragmatic because that will to a little bit sharp in time. A little more uh, pragmatic in things. So. <coughs> We have a very clear, so I made this class from 2000 to 2012. So, and then I, I uh, thought how to use, how to, do, how to do things with computers. All these multimedia stuff and so on. How to make uh, uh, these uh, wikis and, and all these things. And then we somehow said, it's so simple, yeah? what, it, it, you can have all these videos. And the internet, you can learn everything, everything is like that. So, all the SS Khan Academy, all these talks about everything, have lectures, and simply can. It's it. Why are you thinking you can have it <laughs> in a lecture all here on the Thursday afternoon? It's simply available, everything. So, then we somehow put it at a discussion, and when we stopped. And uh, today we start a new line <laughs> and a new setup. So I don't ask any longer how to do things. Our question is what to do. As architects, if everything, if anything what you want is there. Of course it's not there. All these sociologists, pedagogues and, and so on, and they say now we have to understand that uh, a lot of people don't and, and a lot of ideas we can't realize and so of course. Yeah? That's to the engineers. They should improve that. And they will improve that. So the question of the architect, and you are in a very exclusive position as an architect, is, and it always was deep in my, in my understanding, what to do with this richness. If you can make this, <laughs> what do you want to do if you can do anything? If you can, who do you want to talk to if we if can be friends with everybody? Who are you? So we turn from how to what. So, and the technical thing then is, I don't tell you how CAD systems work. Because you can look it up. It's free, just that you have the internet or your PC or and the computer, internet, online, look at, do it, and you learn. <laughs> you do it with Photoshop, with video, whatever you like. And the beauty of all this stuff is, it's not complicated. Always people say that computers are complicated. So the, the, the key thing is, and the challenging thing is, that it's eroding of everything you know, or people know, therefore they are so afraid. It's passing away, because with computers, everything what has been very complicated five years ago, very complicated with your parents, they are very proud of, all the engineers are very proud of, it's, it's there. So the problem is, not that this is complicated, of course, at the end it needs to be some complication, <laughs> otherwise, okay, it's wrong. But the principle is that the things get this easy, every year. This cheap, this easy. Whatever you can imagine. So, a very simple story. Yeah? We have been, it's not long ago, it's, it's, it was in 1998, so it's 20 years ago. So, we, need, we needed a super a powerful website. I don't know whether you can buy a computer like this anymore for 30,000 Swiss francs. <laughs> to be able to make a video cut. So it was super busy. So it was super complicated. So it took 14, uh, two weeks, three weeks to get the first steps in these machines and so on. And then you made a video cut. It took five years later, then it was on, a, on, on, on this, on this Macintosh there. 
And now it's on your mobile phone. And it's not complicated anymore. You don't need any introduction. You simply do it. These video people, 30, 20 years ago, they get crazy with that. That you make it. Okay. Computer understands you. You don't understand video. Computer understands you. So the problem is that he thinks yeah, everything of value gets substituted. And this human user interaction, all these things, uh, and the software, their main interest is that you stop thinking. Which means that they succeed if you put it in one point. Like this one. And you see, we don't talk anymore. Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> like this video, this like. Then he suggests some ways how you, you work around with your video, like this like. And the next time you, the system knows what, what you like, and you even don't need to like anymore anything. Just the flow of things you like. Concepts. <coughs> So the key problem with the what is that this is wrong. And this is the how. So now we start with what. So if everything is somehow there, what is the question? If every answer is there. If you can get friends with uh, over, over four generations, you can friends with everybody on this on this uh, world. Then you know everybody on this world. Four generations. So it's absolutely clear that with four steps, you're connected with every kind of crime on this, on this planet. The same. Every crime. Every argument is right. You find a reason for anything if things are connected like this. And this is what we observe. Nobody knows any longer what to say. Because everything is there. <laughs> so everybody is challenged by that. And I want you to get thinking in this direction. Therefore, what you are what we will teach you is literacy. Strange word, <laughs> not the tools, <laughs> but literacy. So I want to teach you how to think, and I think that it changed if you start to be able to read, mostly read, and a little write code. That's like in primary school with reading and writing, you have to train it for several years, and some when you got it. And it's another word. You don't need to be a poet or whatever, but you can read newspapers, you can read the advertisements of a supermarket, whatever. Yes? You're, you're, you're there. If you can't read, you're not there. So now I tell you that we show you how this works. <coughs> that Google is a poem. So the, the principal algorithm of Google, now they got a little corrupt, and by that it's getting complicated. But the principal algorithm they start with is five line poem. It's not, they always say these monster, these monster data centers and so on. They're just to have, it, it's, to have the work power that all this gets billions, uh, billions and billions in, uh, uh, in data, millions uh, per second in, in requests, it covers the whole world and so on. This is engineering, the principal infrastructure. The brain is a five-line piece of code, nothing more. So I want you to understand and to read and to appreciate these kind of code, these powerful things. So and therefore we say we want to learn to get literate. We want to be able to read at least code and to understand how this somehow works and get the right questions to our to your, your time, to your work. This is what I want to show you. Sean, yes? I have a question about the thing you said before. You said you think that in general we know everything, but isn't it normal that every society in the past thought that they know anything? Well, for example, 500 years ago, everybody thought it would be normal that the, that the Earth Now we know what's wrong, but at this moment they thought it would be right, so they haven't 
Principle uh, uh, ways how to how to talk about computing uh, about software. So the one is uh, the von Neumann architecture. This is the kind of athletic way. So this is a running of software. So it's uh, the body of it, and this is empirical, uh, in, uh, 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 imperative. So it says what to do step by step. Ninety ninety five percent of what we have in software follows this path. So all these languages like Java, uh, uh, C, Fortran, and so they're all imperative. And they follow this idea that a computer should do what I say. You want to control things. So this is 1936 or something from Neumann. Same time, 1944, Alan Church, and this is the brain of software. It's exactly the other way around. So we have all the body and brain and soul and all so these kind of uh, ambivalent. It's exactly the same time. It's a kind of flip flop of, of, the, of the same story. And this is Alan Church. And that's a principle, it is called the, the, the uh, Lambda Cardus. So this is a kind of the intellectual part of computing. And I told you I'm not in graphics, this is a body of me. I'm on the intellectual, machine intelligence. So I'm fond of lambda calculus. And with the lambda calculus, we don't say what to do and how to do things. You ask what to do. So it's a little complicated to get. So we will have the most prominent implementation of the standard calculus is this mathematical application. So, and I want to show you how this uh, works. <coughs> so you go to our website and you have to install all this stuff. So our website is here. This is a class. So, you can download the uh, Mathematica here, you get it for free from ETH shop. We will have uh, a YouTube as it's here. <coughs> so, and here you can download the code of today. So it's a bundle. So this is a reference, if there's a new <coughs> a new uh, delivery next week, so it will be there, you can look it up. <coughs> so, I don't do it now, I have it already. 
So this is a reference page. Go to our page and uh, look at this class. Uh, we have it here for now. I give you uh, things. So what you get is a directory. It looks like um, like this. No, it's not here. Here, this is the directory you get with a lot of files. So you simply have to start it. <laughs> so then Mathematica start. If you have installed Mathematica, it starts. So I don't want to make it fully automatic. So you get principle. You get the principles. For example, how this class is working, you can find it here. So this is a code how I, I, I'm operating this class, inclusive exams and everything. Yeah? You can hack it. If you actually hack the exams and make good grades, I'm, I'm happy with that. <laughs> Try to understand how it works and then if you make it, then you will be good. <laughs> so what you have to do to get good formatting, uh, you have to install the sh uh, a so-called style sheet, and we'll explain you in the second uh, part uh, how this works, uh, this, how style sheets, what they are. So style sheets working, it's always like, I make it like that. Menu, format, style sheet, other, MTB, so uh, have menu, it's here. Then format, style sheet, other, and then you go to the, to the file loaded, and then you say, it's style sheet and this should be installed. Yeah? So I had it. You only have to do it once. That's it. So the next is if you want to have a nice fonts, then you need Roboto and Roboto Mono installed. I don't know how it works on PC. It's not this simple. No. Look it up on the internet. There's videos if you <laughs> ask your friend. So in this case, uh, <laughs> You have the fonts in this in this delivery. Go to the fonts. Have it here. So I don't make it. You simply make a double click here, and then say install fonts, and then it's, it's done. Yeah. <laughs> then you can use it for everything, all your software. So that's it. <coughs> here I give you three menus. So I will change it over time, but now we have three. So these are, and we will have it today, uh, uh, some things for starting. These are the different media we will work on, on colors, on graphics, on numbers, on text, on sound, music, and so on. And these are the lectures. So this is our lecture today. Yeah. If you don't want to do that, <laughs> we ha I deliver a PDF here. So and here you can see all this, for example, this is a lecture, go here, and here this is, these are the, the fancy guys from, from Renaissance, yeah? So read a little, you have everything in PDF, yeah? But I recommend to install Mathematica and try a little, to get a little literate. <coughs> so, so here, these key things, yeah? About abstraction, computers are not machines, uh, blah, blah, and, and so on. This is <coughs> on installation. So, how to install? You can have, without loading Mathematica, you can have it in internet in the cloud, but it's getting super slow, and you see. Here, and you have a developer platform. Yeah, and uh, here you have, you simply can say, I want to have a new notebook, and then you can start working with Mathematica. You 
it's not fun. Go. <coughs> this is how, how to download the version. Here you get it from, from ETH. This is a page of ETH, how to install uh, mathematics to buy and install uh, and to buy things from the IT shop. There's a movie on this page, so go there if you have trouble. And there's a free player like uh, with PDF. So you, uh, you simply can view mathematical document without paying, but you can save, change a lot, and distribute it. But you don't have to buy the things uh, to start with it. So that's with the installation. So you can go back. How I did it, I you can show the, <coughs> the code. This is the helps. So, <coughs> for example, you can simply do, it's, it's like a text editor. Huh? You simply say, we have a new, it's called notebook. So we have a new notebook. And then you say hello. Yeah? You have hello. You can say what is 2 plus 3 and then it's 5. Yeah? <laughs> These are cells, you can delete them. Groups, groups of cells and, and so on. So if you say, for example, 2 plus 3 and you want to get help, then you go here, for example, to this plus and you don't know what it is. Huh? Stupid. <laughs> you have control, go here, get the menu, get help. Then you get online help of uh, search results, you say, yeah, okay, it's plus. And here you get some help with plus. So what plus is about? <laughs> not, it's not this less to talk about, yeah? So, <laughs> and with this help system, you see, it's always, you see what it is, what is the environment of it. It's like a lexicon. It's an interactive lexicon. And there are a lot of guides around. So what you have is about 12,000, 15,000, I don't know, 20,000 pages. It's like, like this. Treat it as a lexicon. So don't ask too much around. So the whole stories I'm giving you is to give some stability that you don't lose orientation in that. Yeah? So it's important to know this is vast, that everything, and it's really like an encyclopedia on the interactive knowledge of, of things. Yeah? And this is how you access it. Good. So there is here the documentation center of Mathematica. You see everything, sound, images, geometry, strings, and so on. So machine learning, so go to, to graphic or geometry, go here, plane geometry. So everything is there somehow. Geometrical, geodata, whatever you like. So you'll see. A polygon. How to make triangles. What? Yeah. Oh, this is a help system. So most in most cases, it's simply complicated to find that because you don't understand the whole setup. So you're a novice to that. Yeah. Then my suggestion is simply go take Google, say Mathematica, how to blah blah blah, <laughs> to get the references. Much better than any search engine within Mathematica. So that's the help. <coughs> so let's make a break, huh? <laughs> We have 15 minutes break, so at 4 we have the uh, second half, and then we go uh, in more depths, and I give you a parade of the different media. So what you can do with Mathematica is all the same language. Yeah? So 15 minutes, 4 o'clock sharp. <laughs>